Uh, greetings and welcome to Carrier Management Strategies, also known as CMS. Uh, my name is Nick Meliotis. I am CEO of the company. Uh, we are headquartered out of the beautiful San Diego, California, founded in 2010. And our role in the industry is that we are bringing a new concept called a general contractor of IT services. So the concept of a general contractor of IT services, I think requires a bit of an analogy. So most folks are familiar with the term general contractor as it relates to housing. So you have the uh, homeowner who has a vision to either build a house from scratch or maybe uh, uh, provide an add-on. They then will lean on an architect who kind of puts the diagram together and helps with the visual. The architect will then uh, typically lean on a general contractor where the responsibility of the general contractor is to bring in an electrician, a plumber, a framer, etc. So take the same concept but now apply it to information technology. So the owner, if you will, is the CTO or Chief Technology Officer. He or she has the vision for deployment of technology throughout the company. They then hire, typically, a senior VP of IT who then serves as the architect. They then are responsible for bringing the necessary components to help bring the vision to life. Where we come in and where we fit is in that general contractor. So for the client's entire IT ecosystem, we then bring in telecommunication providers, mobility providers, security, cloud services, infrastructure cabling, everything that is a part of the IT ecosystem, we provide that as a general contractor of IT services. Our role is to assist with identifying and sourcing those technologies. We then get into position to procure and contract and install. And when requested, we can provide ongoing management of all of the above. The message I wanna convey is that we can reach our clients and support them on a global level. So the final message is whether by land, air, or sea, we support our clients both technically as well as geographically on a global level. So under the principle of being a general contractor, right, we discussed earlier that we have the capability to bring forth all of the IT products and services, right, related to a client's IT ecosystem. So some clients need support in some areas, some need support in all areas. So Pricemart, think in the terms of, you know the company Costco, who's a big retailer box here in the USA. For Pricemart, they take the same concept, but they do it throughout Latin and South America. So for this particular client, though technically astute, what we found is that they had a very low internal uh, technical staff. So we filled a complete role where we are now the full blown, if you will, uh, general contractor of IT services. So we provide this client with everything. Telecom, mobility, security, hardware, hardware maintenance. So let's hear from Pricemart. CMS has been really helpful for us. They have managed everything from procurement to uh, services and telephony and data. Uh, their, their approach has been more like a general contractor for IT or they uh, oversee uh, several different areas of, uh, of needs that, uh, that we had. Uh, telephony, data, uh, space, uh, everything that we would need in order to manage and run our operations. Uh, CMS has been very helpful in uh, helping us achieve and accomplish our goals and doing so at a cost savings. So then the next question becomes, well, what exactly do you do on a day-to-day -day level as a general contractor? So initially we start with just understanding that the client is completely pounded with working on internal matters and are called you know, internal fires. Where we step in is to assist with the external matters, that being 
how do we mitigate and deal with the aggravation and the grief that's provided by the IT industry? So the customer is inward facing and we are outward facing as far as our focus. So what we do and the value we provide is that we help with sourcing and identifying technology. We then get into position to procure, contract, install, and if the, if the client seeks for us to provide ongoing management for all of the above, we can do that as well. So part of the uh, concept under a general contractor, one thing that we have developed and brought to the industry that nobody else has is that we have the ability to customize solutions as they relate to hardware maintenance. Hardware maintenance as, in, as to what? So in a client's enterprise environment, they have servers, routers, firewalls, switches. They also have equipment that is in the sales office, scanners, printers, fax machines, etc. So the key aggravation in the industry has been a matter of how do you manage the overall expense? How do you manage all of those assets? How do you manage the device, et cetera? So we engage our friends at AT&T to inquire how it is they are managing this expense and these particular devices. So from scratch, we built a custom solution that answered a few problems for AT&T. One, because we were able to customize the solution down to the device, that is key. We do it by providing a mix of OEM, third party, and brake fix maintenance providers. So we were able to lower operating expense as well as provide additional cost savings, which is a nice benefit. But in addition, we also saw a need where the client wanted to uh, have a mechanism for managing the assets in a single consolidated portal and we were able to develop this particular solution from soup to nuts. So let's hear from AT&T. Uh, what I was starting to find a lot of problem with is, is uh, having to keep up with maintenance. Um, as we were building these networks and some existing networks that were already built previous to me, find out equipment didn't have maintenance on it and it was very painful going through the process getting it done. Uh, when I engaged CMS, told me about how he has this hybrid, hybrid maintenance, which incorporates more than just one company all under, all under uh, one roof. And I was very interested in that, just from the fact of not having to chase everything down separately. Putting it all down as one and having it managed in one spot was, was a good idea. So what we did is we put together a trial. Uh, the trial worked out really well. Um, and from since then, we've actually implemented it uh, throughout our nationwide network. CMS was very flexible in what they wanted to do, all the way from doing custom crash kits to having stuff uh, on inventory um, for uh, any kind of a replacement that was needed. Um, and then overall, just being very willing to make any changes on the portal and everything, just making our lives much easier and not having to worry about doing this because maintenance was, was nothing but pain, pure pain prior to this. And now it's become a, a lot easier to manage and, and it, it's the, the updates when the contracts come due, everything, CMS is on top of that. Any questions or concerns, we were always able to get a hold of Nick and get any of our questions answered. It's been, it's been valuable and I'll sense it just to get to the end goal of uh, reducing our pain. So under the, uh, the ability to be able to customize our level of support, right, under the general contractor of IT services, uh, we are working with LPO Financial. So now LPO Financial, they are the largest independent uh, broker agents uh, in the States. So their particular need was not a need for a full-blown general contractor, but at the time when we engaged, they had a specific need of just needing some negotiation assistance with pricing, procurement, 
contract and installation, even though we can provide right all components of the IT ecosystem, they needed for us just to focus on that one area, so we did. So in this particular matter, we helped them with identifying the source as it related to data networking. So let's hear from LPL Financial. At LPL, one of the items I did is I oversaw the network operations team. And when I inherited the, the telecommunication parts of that, we realized that we had a, a significant billing problem and we might have been being overcharged in some areas of our telecommunication services. CMS, they came in and validated that thinking, worked with us, worked with our carriers, helped reduce that spend. Go well, beyond our, our troubles with telecom and getting control of our uh, telecommunication lifecycle management, one of the other areas that CMS provided value was around gaining control of our hardware assets and putting them under the right maintenance contracts that made sense to LPL. So let's talk about the custom solution wrapped around what we call hybrid maintenance. So what hybrid maintenance is, it's a providing a mix of OEM, third party, and break fix maintenance providers. So traditionally the industry as it relates to maintenance, it's either the customer purchases OEM maintenance or third party or break fix. So the type of hardware that we're talking about are servers, routers, switches, firewalls, etc. When you look at equipment that is in the sales office, you're thinking printers, scanners, fax machines, etc. So the message here, basically if the device has a green LED and it plugs into the wall, we can develop a custom solution. So what this means is that the primary aggravation point in the industry is always related to price. It's always number one. So we are answering that particular aggravation point by developing and customizing a solution around maintenance down to the actual device. And that is what is not done in this industry at the moment. So typically the options provided to the client are you stay with the OEM, maybe you move it to third party, maybe you move it to a break fix maintenance provider. But even there, there's a constant aggravation because the client has to choose typically between the three. But what we've done is we found a way to make all maintenance parties play in the same sandbox so that it benefits the client. So hybrid maintenance, it's a mix of OEM, of third party, and break fix maintenance providers. That is the particular mechanism what we use to lower the operating expense. So in addition to lowering the operating expense, the solution also provides a wraparound asset management and device management. And we do that via an online portal. So when you take the mix, the portal, asset management and device management, this is a particular solution that we have been able to deploy throughout the Fortune 10 to 500. One of the questions I am often asked is that, okay, well, we understand this principle, you say a general contractor, but what does an actual engagement look like? So it goes like this. First, we sit down to understand your business personality. So put all technology aside, let's not talk products or services whatsoever. I wanna understand how it is you approach technology. How do you make your decisions? What type of customer support do you require? Where does your aggravation and grief reside? Do you need like an entire principle of general contractor? Or maybe are there just specific areas where you need for us to come in and fix? The next component is that we have to identify exactly what is the aggravation. So we know that we're involved in sourcing and identifying technology. You know that we're involved in procuring, contracting, installing, and managing. So really it's a matter of understanding what areas of technology you know, create such an aggravation or a grief where you bring in a general contractor. So we identify that particular area so that we can customize our level of support. Part of the engagement is to understand your communication style. And this is where we've created the Clint Eastwood style of communication. So we've all seen the movie, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So 
Traditionally, the industry always provides the worst bit of information at the last very second, right? So it requires a client to scramble at the last minute when an installation won't be met for an example. So you take that reverse of the good, the bad, and the ugly, but how we communicate with our clients starts with the ugly, the bad, and then the good. We proactively provide insight as to whether or not there are any pitfalls in installation, any pitfalls with contracting so that our communication method is to first deliver all the ugly information, then the bad, followed by the good. So what this ultimately represents, it's heavy proactive communication up front for the areas of support where you need us. What I think is important to convey is that our position on how we provide support and our level of protection for our clients. So it is at the core of our business model that we are here to protect the financial and the operational interests of the clients. So traditionally, you've seen a cat and mouse between the industry and the clients. It's always where the industry wants more margin, but yet the client always wants a higher discount. So it's a constant battle every time for new services or for renewals, but we sit on the side of the client's negotiation table, and I think that's a very important message to convey. I think it's also key to understand that our current base of clients reside within the Fortune 10 to 500. We execute on a global level, so this concept of a general contractor, it's not theory, it's not beta, we're not testing it, we are in full execution mode. So for those large clients viewing this video, I want that to provide a, a bit of credibility. The other key element under our principle of a general contractor of IT services is bringing back something that is no longer part of the industry, and that is basically what we call customer service. So, you know, we spend millions upon millions each month and each year on various forms of IT products and services is it too hard to ask the industry to provide something through a level of customer service? So what we do in this business model is not only provide customer service, but we are providing proactive customer service. Now, that's gonna take a longer discussion, but it's another core principle of the company. And given that we support our clients on a global level, I would like to close with this. Watashi no no mai wa niku desu, CMS no kaisho desu, yoroshiku. Yo me llamo es Nicolás, CMS es mi compañía, mucho gusto. So regardless of how we say it, it's a pleasure to meet you, albeit virtually, and welcome to CMS.